Welcome to Fallout 4 Hints and Tips. Basically, we'll be covering a large range of. What the hell is that? Oh, I was. <laughs> Fuck, I thought that was a fucking big old mile. Like some. Yeah, what we'll be covering is um, some hints and tips on Fallout 4. So, a little bit about we weapon modding, show you how to mo get things like adhesive and uh, oil, um, easier things like that. Um, we'll sort of just give a bit of a. show you a bit about the settlements and bits and pieces like that, so it's, it's all live, so you have to bear with us, it's not going to be like set pieces cutting it up, it might take a little while but we'll get to it. Um, just to be aware that I'll, I'll be completing some sort of quests as well, just to sort of carry on after I've done the tips, so I've, I'm level 24, got a, quite a lot of left to do, so it just dep totally depends on what you want to watch. Um, and I think I've got a current present bug, so I need to sort of deal with that, and that's currently in the, the Brotherhood of Steel. So. What we're gonna do, so we'll start off. I think I've literally just cleared out this of something like Fort Hagen, I think I'm on, something like that. Let's have a quick check. Fort Strong, rather, not Hagen, but I'm on Fort Strong. I've just cleared it out from loads of super mutants, so very thirst thing to do, I'd say. Is head back. I'm going to go to a good neighbour and do a little bit of the Silver Shroud mission, just just to sort of give us a bit of time to go by for what I've actually done tips-wise. So, we will get to the... We will get to... Oh, fuck me. I've got my phones going off and all sorts. But we'll be, uh, yeah, so we'll be on the way to doing that. And not seen this gun before. Looks a bit shit. So, Silver Shroud. Let's listen to that. So, at, at the moment, I'm not sure what my inventory's looking like. Well, I'm looking like fucking basically popping at the seams here, so I might as well sell some of the, the shit I've got. Cover group of plasmas. First sort of plasma pistol. I'll show you how to do all, a lot of the mob stuff, so. Fuck it. While I'm like this, we might as well get down to it. Let's go there. Sorry about this. Let's go straight there. Well, I've taken over the castle, so my castle's a good settlement. Um, work your way through the Minuteman quest and you'll get the castle sooner. The castle's actually probably one of the easier settlements to deal with. Most of the people tend to hang around like, an area and it's, it's actually well set out. There's like, little partitions so you can have a garage, you can have your power arm all on display if you want. Um, you got your workbenches, scavenger bits and stuff, but you'll see what I've done to it. It's um, it's pretty shit, but it gives us a, gives you an idea at least at the very at the very minimum. I'm just gonna hook my chat up, so if anyone's online, I'll actually see and be able to talk to you. So um, this is the castle. So you see, I've set up some artillery there. That's obviously basic. You get that from being here. Brahmin troughs and settlers. Uh, this will be a minute, man. Hello, mate. I've equipped him with some chest combat chest piece just to make him a little bit more sturdy if uh, raiders or gunners come to attack the settlement. Um, he's wearing field squire armor, so that's Brotherhood of Steel. Um, gives him a little bit of protection. I think he's my trader. Yeah, he is. Um, I don't know why he stood here, but he should be in my tent in there. Let's have a look at this guy's wearing the same gear. Minuteman, she's wearing a silly cap, but he's wearing a combat armor with a Brotherhood of Steel. See, I've set up like a mini farm area, so I've put a little wire fence around. Looks a bit shod towards the doorway, but what you'll see is that um, I've got various few things in here. A lot of it's probably ripe for the picking at the moment. Um, so, corn, we're going to harvest the corn. This is just to show you how to get a fair bit of adhesive so let's do that straight away harvest the corn keep harvesting it harvest more corn now and more corn again mutt fruit we'll have a bit of that we'll get the mutt fruit as well I've got loads of mutt fruit and loads of corn but this is basically all I've done is just keep planting it um, make sure you plant it as often as you can so He's not really got the gear on to be doing the farming, that guy down there. But bring up your settlement menu, you hold back, obviously. Um, anyone who's actually been playing this should be well aware. But you want, I've got a load of corn here, so it looks like different, but I've got 14 bits of corn. 
Um, it's quite a bit, so let's just get it on the last bit of mud that we possibly can. I'm gonna gonna use. I'll keep nine because I want to demonstrate what you do with it. Um, it's got a dickhead in the way. I can't actually plant it there. It's not quite. Oh, come on. I'll have to move this bell end for it. One there. One there. Well, I've got nine left. So what I've done, I've just planted another what five. So when they're ripe, they'll all be ripe as well, and I'll constantly produce more and more corn. So let's come out of the menu. Um. Oh yeah, this is another random. Go so Sturges, by the way, used to him in the mechanic outfit. So I've just stuck him in some cage armor to make him a bit more sturdy. I don't think he's actually killable. Neither these, but I like to upgrade from the cage armor to give him some stuff. So let's go in the workshop. So let's have a little look in here. So you see, I've got a bunch of weapons in here. I've, I've added more stuff. Um, I'll try and keep the fat man where I need it. Furious unique weapons as well that I'm not actually using tend to keep them in one place um, like this one mutant slayers knuckles I'll bung them in there not gonna use them right authority I use love the gun um, stunning super sledge so I've just got a normal super sledge there or a stunning one so I think we'll probably stick the stunning one away take the normal super sledge out um, right so what you'll see is that I've got a load of crap on me but I'm gonna give them away to the to the settlers as I get on with it and equip them with some more stuff. So I'm currently carrying five muck fruit, um, nine corn I should have, oh, seven corn, right, that was good maths, probably combined with what's in there. Yeah, so there's two corn here, there's seven carrot, 25 muck fruits, there's a fuckload here. So let's just dump, don't need the buff out, so let's dump the carrots in there, dump all the corn, so it's all in one place. Put all the mutt fruit in there. Put the nuka cola in there. All the purified waters in there. So you see, I've got loads of purified water. I've got a couple of massive purifiers at the back there, just basically making shit. Tarbury, that can go in there. Uh, all the rest of this can be sold. There's no need for it to be in here. But um, yeah, so I've got some shop income there as well. So I'll be adding that to my caps. Let's take that away now. All my junk's in there. And I'm just going to press Y just to dump everything in. So you see I've got... Checking out your junk directly will tell you exactly what's in it. Uh, obviously, if you don't know how to use tag for search, I'll do that. But that's what the little magnifying glass is. I'm currently really low on things like al aluminium. So I'll just go around collecting anything that's got aluminium in. I will just take it, regardless whether it's you know, a little tin can. I mean, they're the best places for it. Aluminium cans, tin cans, give you loads of aluminium. But you'll you'll start running out of that. But I pick everything up. There's just crap in here. But baseball's got leather. I mean, I just get leather because I need leather. Copper, you know, you need all this stuff when you start um, doing that. Right, okay, so what we'll do... If my phone's right ringing, but uh, we'll have to ignore that for a sec. One second, guys. Oh, right, I do. What we've got here, anyway, so uh, you can see I've got a power armor here. This is my Brotherhood of Steel one. Actually, it's my preferred one. I think it's brilliant. Add strength. This one's uh, 
not complete as you can see um, but that's going to be the hot rod so more agility I want to run around in that a little bit to see what it's like got my armour and everything else here so let's get out of this fucking power, power armour for a bit alright <coughs> so always take your fusion core out God, if you don't take your fusion core out people can walk off in your power armour which that's just not ideal so you'll notice I don't have a fusion core in anything here so anyway I'm being sidetracked here so we're doing the corn uh, the reason why I'm telling you about corn is because you can come on your chemistry station or is it the other one right it's chemistry station I want to be showing you and a cooking station here it is right so you get loads of different things in here you can make things like dirty wastelander which is basically a load of shit you don't need that dirty water you can make purified water which is fine roast all this stuff basically all there just to increase certain attributes for a limited amount of time I mean we're not too bothered about that stuff there really personally I think you can just get away with using stim packs um, probably more relevant if you're playing on a harder difficulty level um, soup uh, we're not worrying about that either let's fuck it the fucking soup um, not sure why I'd make super dirty water but still um, weird uh, right okay this is what I wanted to show you the corn for so you see something here called vegetable starch requires free corn free mutt, few, uh, mutt fruit one purified water and three potatoes so there's obviously the massive potato um, massive potato tomato things they're just huge but what you want to do is be planting this in as much as soon as you get one or two just build them up build them up in your settlement as long as you can then build this so adhesive adhesive is pretty rare oh you can see I've got my little magnifying glass on it I want to pick it up at places but I can instantly add 15 adhesive here just by building the vegetable starch corn's the bitch I've got a lot of mutt fruit load of purified water I'm struggling on the potato side of things really as well so I need to start building that up again but I can go out there and just harvest all of that and then it's there but you just go right I'll go back but this isn't unique to one settlement so I could go to Sanctuary Hills now and I've placed food there and I bet there'll be aid items in there which means there'll probably be some form of adhesive but uh, some form of corn or other aid let's move this power arm out of the way oh right okay yeah nice weird looking glitch there but let's get in it just gonna come to here jump out just jumped out of that bad boy let's take the fusion core out again lovely enter the Minuteman get the fusion core in there enter fabulous and then what we'll do is I'm now gonna just show you the sort of things adhesive is used for Jump out of there. Okay, so I, I mod my armor. I'm a bit of a bitch for that. I do it all the time. I, I haven't got the perks to go any higher than Model D, which I'm a bit upset about, really. I should really do the armor perks, but perks I just haven't. Um, forgot the paint here as well, so you can just add these types of paint. Winterized coatings should make it look like there. You see I've got quite a lot of adhe adhesive and I've got a fair bit of aluminium. Um, press the Y button here and it takes your searches off if you don't need them. You no longer, I mean, because you've got, you're deemed to have enough, which is a bit annoying because I can't atta attach it on at all. Um, but if you're running a bit dry, so if I started to make loads of these, I'd just run out, you press Y and it'll add those tags back in. And that means anything you find sort of highlighted yellow or it's um or it's uh we'll have the little magnifying glass but everything on here is all done now basically so all this stuff you need blacksmith for that I haven't got that either I've been a bit of an idiot really but I'm just gonna repair the shit out of this now so obviously loads of requirements steel 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 is fucking everywhere just pick things up go and clear all of your um go and clear all the uh, settlements and you'll um you'll get loads and loads of steel so 
Might be worth just showing you uh, the other one as well. I think you might have seen it when I was on the on the chemistry station. What's this guy up to? Oh, it's Sturgis. Nice. So yeah, so we're going to utility cutting fluid. So you need to pick up acid and bone. Bones, the weirdest thing ever. So pick up skulls, rib cages, bones, all sorts of stuff. But this just gives you oil and more steel, and it's just making life a little bit easier when you're running a bit dry on oil, because oil's also a bit of a bastard to get hold of, so let's go down here and just check out my armour. So I've got brotherhood of steel and everything, just because it just basically gives you an extra radiation is resistance, so I've got some chest pieces, both all of its brotherhood, and some of this stuff I don't really give a shit about, but I'll look to sell these or just equip it to one of my settlers. But having a look at this here, let's go for miscellaneous. So you get adhesive, cork, there's everything is random here, but carrying capacity, reducing damage, deep pockets. I mean leather I don't need to be tagging anything for search at the moment, so I can build pretty much everything. It's just that I've got not high enough rank in armour. So I could make more damage, um, up my rank a little bit. But see, like lead there, lead is weak. So if I now upgraded that, and ballistic fibre as well. So it's a bit of a pain. So just picking up junk and finding stuff is all you can do in this game. Got to be immune to be setting on fire, that'd be nice. This is radiation damage as well, right? Yes, we're not worried about any of this at the moment. I don't like to fuck about with this unless it's a personalised piece of armour. If it becomes personalised, I'll make a polymer. So well, let's make some polymer, shall we? Well, actually, let's not do that. We don't really need to. Oh, and I'll just show you my skill tree. Perks, what I recommend, even though I haven't got them myself, all of them yet, I'd definitely say you don't need cap collector really. I mean, there's you get caps everywhere at the moment. If you're not, you just have to make sure you got all your have medic, rifleman, armorer. I mean, I've got another like definitely need a bit of gun nut action. Hacker, you should have locksmith. For some reason, I ain't got it, and I should have blacksmith as well. So if you're starting the game early, fucking get blacksmith, locksmith, hacker, gun nut. An armor. Just make sure you can do lots of stuff um, when you're sort of going to build things. Uh, science as well. Local leader. Local leader is a bit of a given, really. It just makes it so you can get caps automatically. Um, so what we'll do is I'm just going to have a look at my weapons workbench as well, and this is where you sort of use oil mostly. But you can scrap items here. So I've got scrapper perk, and I've got that to the full level. So if I scrap a weapon, I get loads of little bits and pieces, which will really help out. So it's an exterminator combat rifle. Do fish get sent more damage against myelurks and bugs? So that's a unique, sort of legendary weapon. Um, you don't particularly want. So this one's got a long barrel on this combat rifle. So I could just go like this and say, well, long barrel's sort of a third rank. So we can take it down, use one adhesive, freeze goose, and freeze skill. And it then becomes a short combat rifle. And again, with the short stock, we can make it sort of pretty poor, really. Um, let's do that. So then I'll scrap that one as well, and that'll give me some steel, screw springs, and wood. Normally, you'd probably just get a few steel. Um, because I've got it to a certain level, I'll do alright. I mean, a super sledge, I think he could give me steel, because there's fuck all to it. Um, so let's go back on my combat rifle, which was the exterminator's one. We modify. Standard receiver. I haven't got anything here yet. I have to build everything to make make it better. So, short barrel, light barrel. You see it says attach mod. I think we'll do that. And it, it doesn't cost you anything. Yes, it, it's cost me an adhesive and a screw, but it's not cost me the full build cost. If it did... I'd have spent, you can see there, I'd have spent double just making that barrel. So it, it's a sort of a way of adding mods without losing 
as much materials and resources which you can't really afford to so again the full stock so two five and five it cost four six and six instead I can just attach it and it's in it's on my unique legendary weapon at no cost well practically no cost standard sights I haven't got anything here in the model list I haven't got anything else so but that might exterminate his combat rifles now slightly better than what it was before I came over here and that's at half the cost so I tend to do this with all of the non so I've got marksman's fiery laser there I don't really need it because I've got my righteous authority and he is the tits basically all this came off other weapons and I was swapping them for standard capacitators and it's it's the best way to do it and upgrade your mods on your weapons without paying full resources easily done as well so super sledge all you can do is these two things and I'm not gonna bother until I find someone that's basically already done it to their weapon we'll scrap that shit we don't want it um, this is my pistol is what I'm using so I've got everything on that most of that came off another gun Right Safari is pretty much built off other laser rifles I picked up. Powerful pipe revolver, I've got too much pipe shit. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. So you see oil gets used on here, because it's a shitty gun, but we'll put a standard receiver on here. Just to give you an idea. All my pipe stuff's at Sanctuary Hills, so it's probably a good example. So you take it off. Long fin barrel, let's put a stubby on there. Marksman stock, so one and one is the requirement, where normally the requirement is all that stuff. Lots of rare materials, let's take that straight off there. Now, unfortunately, the mods aren't interchangeable between the weapons, they're specific to the weapon type. So if you've got a pipe pistol, you'll only be able to put it onto a pipe pistol. Um, you won't be able to put it onto sort of the sniper rifle. Uh, but you will be able to make your pipe pistol into a pipe sniper rifle, but I'll get back to that. Um, medium scope, sort of about halfway down the list. Two, three, two, one. It's got glass, I think. Standard sights, one adhesive, one steel. We'll take that off, thank you very much. And the muzzle brake, no muzzle, no requirement. So all we have is this little pipe revolver pistol. Screw that, I don't want that. But what I'll, I'll uh, we'll take a pipe pistol off someone else and we'll show you exactly what to do with that. So, a couple of laser rifles. I think I could make a half decent one with some of the stuff I've got laying around, just to sort of show you. So look, I've got gamma wave emitter, which just be attached straight on. I save all of that stuff just by a... Uh, it's what I've done, but here's one what I did earlier, basically. So, let's put gamma wave on there. If you've got long barrel, or what? What's that? I've not got anything else to add, but we could easily... Hmm, let's make it automatic just for a bit of a laugh. Full stock is on that at the moment. We've got nothing else but take the full stack of stock off. And it changes it to a pistol, you can see that. I haven't got a half decent pistol. Can make it in a fiery automatic laser pistol. Let's go for that. And then standard sights. Let's attach a mod of something if I've got anything that's improved got improved sights. Beam splitter, beam focuser, gyro compensating lens, so the ranges could be improved. Amplified beam splitter, so it's a bit of a sniper, um, a bit of a shotgun laser pistol, uh, that's quite cool. But I don't need any of this stuff on here really, it's just to sort of give you an example. Not too fussed about the range, just probably want to make gyro compensating lens. What I would say never do is just scrap. If you just scrap, yes, you get all this gear, but you wouldn't get all that. That's only because I've got scrapper twice, but you would lose all that stuff. You'd lose all the mods as well if you scrap everything, including the mods. So let's, um, word of caution if you do do what I just did, you'll be paying the cost to put it back to a basic. So it, it basically charges you to remove the stuff. The standard sights, so I've still got that on, so I can just attach mod. But you see what I mean. Um, we're going to keep that laser pistol, so I'm going to use it in a minute. Fiery laser, so it's got loads of shit on there. Fine tuned beam focuser, that's actually a half decent muzzle. 
Let's take that off. Standard sights. Ha! <laughs> Full stop. So let's just check that I have a laser pistol. My legendary laser pistol had standard grip. So I'm not bullshitting here. I can put the marksman stock on it and make it a rifle. But that I didn't have that before. We only had full stop. So it's just to show you. Definitely can do that. There's no point in having a rifle anyway. Um, but the gyro compensating lens was the best I had before, if you remember. Everything else I was building. There you go. Put that on there. That's just taking that off that other gun. So. There you go. Um, that's one way of doing it. Let's scrap that and get all that them goodies. Scrap that and get all the goodies out of that. But obviously, the more bits you scrap, you get extra money, um, extra resources back. So that's only sort of relevant. So this is a 10 mil pistol. I've got a load of shit on here as well. Let's make that a standard receiver, short barrel. Okay, standard grip, standard mag. Low sights off. No muzzle. Probably got a suppressor sat there. Yeah, just stick a suppressor on the end of it. No need for it, but can do if I really want to. Um, scrap that 10 mil. Got a heavy combat sniper rifle. That will be coming from. I reckon that was made from the heavy frame receiver. Do that. All my adhesive comes in handy. But there you go. So that's another definition. So the short combat rifle. Let's get rid of that. Job done. Our exterminator is one. Just check. Oh, hang on a minute. Didn't we just get something from that other gun? What we can attach to this? Yes, we did. We had heavy frame receiver. Let's attach that on, lovely. Long barrels, best we could do. Full stocks, best we could do. Standard sights, oh hang on. No, we had short scope. Just attach it. Makes it a sniper rifle, but mm, we'll, we'll use it and we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's the... Oh, no muzzle. We can stick that bayonet on just like we showed so really simple stuff here um, really basic it's basically able for everyone to do anyone can do it um, just seeing if so the heavy combat shotgun got so I've got some old stuff here so again we'll just run through it automatic receiver or hardened they all do different things a little bit easier on certain bits so long barrel short ported and steel didn't don't need that full stock marksman stock best I can do oh quick eject go on then let's put that on there standard sights wonder if there's any glow sights you can just put this shit on here and then just improve your weapon a little bit put a large bayonet on the shotgun why not slap them in the face for if they get a bit close so as you see, it's just improved my glow sighted heavy combat shotgun, but fuck it. I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to just scrap this now. It's an old shotgun that's done me some good. It's served me up well, but I think I can replace it with that other shotgun. So, I've got a few bits here now. Just to sort of give you an example of everything that you can do on here. So, it's a plasma pistol. I haven't actually played around with any of these so you can see that I haven't got anything to add I shouldn't have anyway so it's photonic so yeah right okay short barrel split should have nothing absolutely nothing yeah like you say I've got nothing on to add so we'll come back to that one. I think I've shown you enough to sort of get by but that's basically the uh, how you do your weapon mods um, are much cheaper um, 
Same kind of goes with armor. You can take stuff off if it's pocketed. Raider armor or whatever, then that'll sort you out. But um, I'd recommend setting up these clinics as soon as you can. I want to trade a few things. You can see I've uh, set up our gear uh, to be wearing stuff. So, ooh, we have a pipe pistol. Let's take her pipe pistol from her. And we're going to give her our suppressed 10mm pistol to look after. I'm not too fussed about that. Get another 10mm. Um, let's give her a bunch of ammo. Right, so there's a hundred gone in for her. Oh, <laughs> make sure she equips it, and then she'll have that as her basic weapon when she pulls it out, rather than the pipe pistol. I just need to trade. But she can uh, sure do trades and everything like that in a moment. I don't want to trade. Just looking to trade a little. Sure. She's a settler. I should be able to do business with her. I just want to trade a few things. It might be after hours, let's check the time. Yep. I think it's too late. 10.45, yep, the shops are closed, basically. Which is a bit annoying. Considering they're all standing there still. But I'm wearing a Brotherhood Steel uniform. So I managed to show you a few things. I know it's sort of a bit annoying. My phone went off halfway through, but it just gives you a little bit of um, of an idea. Just some tips to help you get by. Not overly difficult to to do, but that'll help definitely. Um, rather than wasting resources, what you quite frankly you haven't got. But let me. Oh, hang on. I was going to show you the pipe pistol, wasn't I? I've got fucking shit loads of stuff for that. So let's go to Sanctuary Hills. So if I'm congregating out here for stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Can we trade a few things? It's so that settler. There's other stuff I like doing as well, so you can see I've got all the mods that we're taking off and they're on my person. So you don't really want to be carrying it all around, so it's all quite heavy. And just leave it in your workshop and everyone will have it basically. Alright, so she's got got a few bits now, so given her that. Let's put it on bitch. Oh, that was <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. She not meant to get naked. She's got a leather chest piece. Dirty army yeah, she's got some clothes back on. We'll take her three piece suit back and we'll take her bottle caps. She's got a pipe pistol. I don't particularly like her having a pipe pistol. Um for a bit of a laugh, we'll give her a few pulse mines. She will equip that as well. But yeah, basically, um, you can affect the settler in that way, so then she'll be a bit more sturdy if any raiders come after her. Let's, try. Let's make her slightly more sturdy. Give her a dirty army helmet. And equip it. And she wears it. So she'll be a little bit better. Any headshots she'll see coming, hopefully. So. I'm going to just transfer my bits in here, so just by adding stuff to your workshop, this will be basically stuff will stay towards the, in this workshop, unless you set up supply runs, which means if you set a supply run up, they'll all sort of share, but you can't access everything from one um, workshop. You have to bear that in mind. So I'm just going to leave all that shit there. I've got a bunch of weapons with me, which is a bit annoying because I don't like having loads of weapons. But I will, I just want to demonstrate the flexibility you've got with that, especially with that pipe pistol. I need to show you that actually. But we do need to go to Sanctuary Hills. So let's head off to Sanctuary Hills. Right. Oof. 
That's just a f couple of quick tips. Let's pop out of the power armor. This is the other thing you can do is th these things are also quite expensive to make. So another thing to do is I'm going to store that in my workshop. Yeah, so that means I can go and assign that to somewhere else entirely. So I'll take the fusion core back out. I don't think anyone's going to walk off any time soon. Right, so the weapons workbench got here. I'll just, I'll just prove my point basically, just to sex it out of this. Workshop. So. Just see what was, what is in here. Oh, I've got a load of artillery smoke grenades. I'll take them back out, don't need them. 24 purified water. You can see it's not what I added earlier. There's no corn. There's four map fruit. I had something like 25 at the other place. So it's just all relative. You can take all the junk out. So I could just do that. I'll be here all day doing this. So I'm not going to do that actually. One day I'm going to do that. But I've got the fuck loads of mods in here for pipe weapons. See them all there? So I'm going to come out of here, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to craft. So that little pipe pistol I had, got nothing on it whatsoever. It's just a standard shitty pipe pistol. So attach mod, attach mod, attach mod. What's that? Piercing auto receiver. So let's give it some of that. Fire rate's ridiculous. Values increased. Stubby barrel. Do we want to give it a stubby barrel? Short light barrel. Long light barrel. Shielded barrel. Long ported. Long finned. We're gonna go long ported barrel. All attached mod. Stand. Oh, hang on. Might want a marksman stop. It's an automatic pipe rifle. All of a sudden, this lovely little pistol was. So let's keep going. What's the best one we got? Put a drum magazine in the bad boy. Standard sights. Glow sights. What's that? Medium night vision? Fuck that. We don't really want night vision in it. Let's put some glow sights on just to make it sort of a little bit interesting. Muzzle. Have we got anything else on here? Oh, there we go. Make it suppressed. Ish. I think it's just showing you that this is the, the possibilities in, in the game. What you do is you can go give that to your settler. They've got unlimited supply of that am ammunition as well. Complete and un unlimited supply of the ammo, which means that they they clearly won't run out. So So this is my ammo sniper rifle. It doesn't feel that meaty. There's a lot of that so you'd be like quite good if it just slows it up I don't particularly I'm not a fan of that already but it's just sort of showing you that's the let's have a look at the pipe rifle is that my laser pistol so you can hold the button down recoils everywhere but good. you're gonna be fucking nailing through ammo though this just sort of give you an idea of what you can and can't do when you're when you're pissing around with this sort of stuff. I'm not sure what the base rifle was for this. Might actually just be like a bolt action rifle or something, but it's quite cool. Um Let's have a look at our suppressed hardened automatic pipe rifle. So we've got glow sights on. There's no pissing about with this weapon now, but that's capable of dealing a quite a bit amount of damage. 
So I've done quite a bit of damage to that. Probably go and repair it now. You see I've got corn that I've laid around everywhere. So we'll harvest the corn. Seems to be growing well. You don't have anyone you have to assign people to it to get it to be appearing in your appearing in your workshop as produce and plus there could be a load of muck fruit here. Yeah, you've got to assign people to it, otherwise it just doesn't work. So he's over here, making sure it's growing and looking after it. I'm getting everything. I'm getting the spoils. You stay where you are, Jen. You keep working. But we'll do that. Excellent. Razor grain. So we're taking the whole lot. It'll be because of corn, we won't be able to do anything. So I'm completely clear out this. One th <laughs> 1060, right. Fuck. Um Alright. You done? Let's have a look at this then. So we've got gold. Sort by the weight. Okay, so bags of cement. Let's get rid of them. Get rid of the makeshift batteries. Typewriter. Yellow paint. Fertilizer. Antique lobes. Biometric scanners. Let's get rid of all this heavy duty stuff. Oh, there's a lot of it went then. Load of desk fans. Let's get rid of all this. You see, I've got like the properties of everything's in here. It makes sense. Let's just do this. Twenty four purified wars. Um Just all the shit I've got. Best off, uh, uh, that's going to take me a long while to sort that out, so I won't do that. Let's put the mods all back. This is the problem, you end up with fucking loads of stuff. Look at all that pipe gun stuff, it's just terrible. T45s for finding shit of armour. Junk. Let's just start taking until I've. Let's just must make it to power armor. Hmm. T 
take the junk right up to 360. What did I just take? Something just killed me. That'd be all the concrete, wouldn't it? I think we'll leave the concrete. Leave the bulkier stuff. I can do so let's take all that I'm gonna just fuck off right back to the castle <laughs> I just grabbed that one Hopefully it should be daytime now. Hi. Sure I have something you need. E. Great. She says, yeah, it's good for them to have stuff as well. They pretty much stock everything. So if you are running a bit dry and you really are desperate, you can pay for it. But I tend to clear her out. Don't use grenades. Actually, a nuke grenade is always worth keeping. I don't want to give her that. She's a cheeky bitch trying to sell my flamer. I basically give it to her to use as a weapon. Fucking cheeky cow. And I'm a 10 mil round. So, um. She just put that straight in herself, fucking <laughs> cheeky fucking bitch. So I'm going to get rid of the heavy combat sniper rifle, sell that for a good couple of hundred caps. But I won't, I'm just going to do this. Thank you. Cheers, bitch. Um, he's selling armor, that guy's selling weapons. No need. Mr. Preston Garvey. Come with me. Hey.
go back on here. Take all that. My junk, all that wood. Motherfucker. There's loads of wood. I'll do. So. Let's head back to. So this is a bit tedious. But there's not really any other way you can do it all. If you want all your resources in one place, you've literally got to do this sort of shit. So let's travel back there. Oh. Pipe weapons are crude, low tech, widely available, and highly modifiable. Yeah. You can basically, like I say, do that trick I showed earlier. You just go, go up to the mod, put it down to standard, and you just end up collecting mods. So. Oh. A little bit awkward. Let's go back to me. Workshop. Jump the shit, and that's all off. Right, so what have I got here? Loads of shit weapons. Aid. Look how many lots of melons. Right, I'm gonna just dump all my aid in there for now. Apart from stim packs, actually. Because you have to be a bitch with those. Right. <coughs> it's probably just a bit of a recap. You got. Okay, so I've got a load of corn again. This is good, so <laughs> it's one way of getting corn. Travel backwards and forwards, let everything respawn. We'll take that. Take that corn, that corn. Oh god, not obviously got people all working on the corn as well, so it just makes life a little bit easier when they're making it. Just go around picking it all up. Lovely. Let's go back. Just to reiterate, you go on your cooking stove. Not while in power armor. And you craft. And you make yourself vegetable starch. Just like that. Just make sure you've got loads and loads of adhesive. Resources, food. Oh look, I've got five corn. So we'll get in here. The corn will get you worked on. So I've got people everywhere. Another corn down. I'm starting to run out of space now a little bit, but you don't really need like melons. No one really has melon. the space, use lemons. We'll go make another set of adhesive. Ah, Sturges, get the hell off my fucking... get the, get the shit. Sturges, get out of the way. Right. Utility, vegetable starch. You see all that stuff all coming out of your settlement. So... Remember I showed you earlier, uh, you can store these 
panorama benches. Essentially, you just move them. Um, so I had this this one from Sanctuary Hills, and I've got two of them, uh, two to be saved. So you can just sort of just looks a bit cool, I think. Bang another one there. Need to move the power armor. Let's just move that. Get in it. And we're gonna step over here. And again, just place it in. No cost on the resources. Everything kind of faces power on the right way. I'm fucking such a geek.
Yes. I'm just going to now just show you where the other piece of our power armor is, which I will just go and collect. It'll take two minutes to do it. It's here, the Revere Satellite Array, protected by super mutants. I've previously cleared it. You see, I've got no companion at the minute. I think I left the dog at the uh, Sanctuary Hill, so I do need to just head back there. I'm pretty sure it's up there. What is it at the top of this one? I'm not 100% where it is now. Let's go up here. It's not going to be there. Try up here. <coughs> nope, not this way. Brother to steel. Need a power left leg. Left and right, made a power two. Okay, so I've just picked a load of power up. You can't take the frame from a dead body, unfortunately. So if someone dies, they die. Gear on. I'm gonna just equip new 
I want nitrous or priority. Take your desk fan. Where did that dead dog go? See, he was wearing armor. Dog armor. So we're going to take that. I'm going to head back into your satellite array. <laughs> well, that was handy. Right, so we're going to head back into here. I think it's that one over there. Could have wa let her watch the Brotherhood of Steel die there. I think they would have beat him. They didn't need me. I wasn't really offering anything there. Let's go to the top pit. Just check it's the right one. It looks as though it could be. Let's try it on the size. This isn't very secure. <laughs> ah, well there we go. And there's a power on frame for you. Let's put fusion core. And then let's get in it. There's a pretty bit of a complete chance I just found that guy with all that raider power armor. Well, I'm not too fussed about the raider power armor. But it's just handy that I've gone back to get the frame. And now, just as a bit of a added bonus, I can put Raider Power Helmet, Raider Power Left Arm, Power Torso, Power Left Leg, Right Arm, and Right Leg. So the right leg's broken and the left leg's broken. Like that. And we now have Raider Power Armor, which I didn't have before. And it's very damaged, which I'm not surprised about. Let's just, uh. Nice. So, um. That's where you find. <laughs> A very fluky piece of Raider Power Armor. Well, that was fluky as fuck, but I was I was actually just doing that just to show you where the frame was. Um, okay, let's go repair some stuff. Let's go finish that off. I think we need to probably <laughs> repair it. We need to get to the castle in order to do that. That's all the resources are there. Aluminium, we're going to tag that for search. That's how you do it. No. <laughs> so, 
So, Raider Power Helmet. Welded plate. Apart from that one, four aluminium. Trust it to be aluminium. Ugh, I know what I'll do. What it all looks like, this is the Raider Power Armor. Looks fucking awful. Speaking of which, I wonder why they haven't got fusion cores in it. So, so that's an extra piece of power armor. Fabulous. So let's just save. A new save. I think we've done a good job on that so far. Let's have a look. So we're going to wear the silver, silver Shroud armor and hat. I'm just going to show you a few of the missions where you're the Silver Shroud. But first, I'm going to go get my dog. And I'm quite sure he's at Sanctuary Hills. So I'm just going to head back there. See where the old doogie is. Doggie. Want, want to see that dog? Here he is, good boy. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Hey. Let's give you some doggy armor.
Alright, Wendell's. Went to dinner. Wingy. Walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Let's see what you got. Remember, no returns, exchanges, uh -huh. or death threats. Must well sell some of this stuff. Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. Hey. When an evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, A Slaying in Scully Square. <laughs> Just a doubtless alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours, or perhaps I'll just call him. No, you'll excuse me. Don't go out here. Not so fast, fancy pants. You walk, and that snazzy briefcase you're carrying. Hand them over. Why'd you go and do that? Uh, silver shroud. Cause he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? Now, let's see what's in this fancy case. Nothing. This would save me no cash. It's worthless. Ah, you like this has got it. The is, it ain't me. All right. Driver's license.
This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book into my den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for 